pretty. <laughs> Sam, how much of a boost was it for the offense to have Isaiah Bowser back, looking more like his old self that he did earlier in the year? Oh, I mean, it was always a boost. Like I said last time, you know, he's a great player. Um, he's a key part of our team, and you know, we came with a plan to you know run it down their throats, and he helped us do that. Sam, does it change much for you guys as an offensive line when you know Joey's in, Mikey's in? Does that does that change at all? I mean, it happened a lot to me. Uh, no, it doesn't really change anything, you know. Uh, both the guys have, you know, things they're good at. And, um, you know, the offense runs smoothly with either one of them back there. Uh, you don't really notice it. Sam, um, you think there, was, there was a point in the game where you guys were having a few punts in a row and things were going kind of slow, and then you broke off a particularly big play on the ground. Um, when you guys do that up front within the trenches, like how does that swing the momentum and the, the hub moving on from that? Uh, you know, it's big. You know, uh, our coach always talks to us about, you know, momentum's not a real thing. Um, but whenever you get the momentum on your side, yeah, it feels good. And, uh, even if we're going three and out or you know, we're having to punt a lot, um, all we can do is just look forward to the next play and the next series. And you know, that's the only thing that can stop you. You don't want to let one drive stop you from the next drive. Sam, what do you guys need to do to improve on third down? It seems to be continues to be a struggle for you guys. Uh, I just think, you know, we just gotta get in positions where, you know, we have a higher chance of converting the third downs. You know, it's harder to convert third downs when it's third and six and up versus third and five and, and lower. Um, that just comes to our first and second down plays. And um, on top of that, you know, communication. We, we, we communicate on side. We were able to fix things well. Um, that helped us out later on. Um, but just communication will also be a part. How electrifying is Ryan O'Keefe? Uh, he has a big place tonight. I mean, he's an athlete, right? He, just, he does it all. He just, you ask, the coach asks him to do a lot of things, a lot of different things. And, uh, he steps up the play and delivers it every single time. Uh, Sam, after the ECU game, Coach Malzahn pointed out his you as one of the main reasons why Mikey Keene was able to stay calm and focus towards that last drive. Uh, how are you able to, to energize that offense when things kind of slow down, all those punts start happening? Uh, you know, just being a veteran guy, being a leader, you, it's just kind of something you have to do. You have to remind guys that, you know, it's only one play at a time, uh, you know, and, and Tom and Mikey, you know, he doesn't have to be anything super. It's just be himself and we'll be able to move the ball. But, you know, I think all of our, our all of our leaders do a good job of doing that um, in every position group. Sam, you've been in every space game, right? So yeah. uh, what do you think about this year's uh, space game? I love it. That, that, was, that was awesome. I, I mean, like uh, I already said, the, the crumb face pass was really cool and, you know, that's something different than what we've done. Uh, Sam, you had you and Marcus blocking on uh, both those uh, end around plays. What's it like to block on an end around play instead of just like a normal run? Uh, I just think it, it gives you a chance to show how athletic you are as a, as a tackle, and you know, open field blocks is you know kind of how you make you make your money on stuff. And um, it's just you know you gotta have fun with it. And you know those guys are athletic, but once you show them that you're just athletic, it, it's fun. Sam, that's good. Thank you. Appreciate it, Sam. Thank you.